So this video is showing how to use the class accuracy plugin. So just to have a look at the attribute table of the points we've got set up. We've got the first column is our reference. So that's the column we're going to be editing with the true class. We've got what it's been classified and then the process column. Um, that was to highlight points that have been processed by the plugin. So first thing you need to do is select the layer. In this case, it's automatically been selected. It's first in the list. Select the column which is associated with the classification. Associated the output columns, so that's the reference ones, so that's the ones that you're going to be starting with, the processed one, and then you hit start. And the, the first thing you'll find is that it's probably zoomed in too closely unless you're using something in a lot long like Google Earth imagery. So we've just changed the scale there so it's the appropriate scale for our Sentinel 2 imagery. So if the point is correct, we just hit the enter key. If we find something that is incorrect, then we'd uh, open the drop down menu and then just change it to be the correct class. As you can see, with most of these, they're correctly identified, so we're going through them quite quickly. But we found one we need to change, so we've just taken the drop down menu and just chosen the class it should be. You can also use the next key rather than hitting enter if you'd prefer. So if you want to go to a certain feature in the list, um, like partway through, so in this case 0.200, you can just type that in and say go to that point and it'll skip uh, to point 200 in the list and then you can start going through them uh, as you see fit and um, obviously the ones being uh, completed are being uh, recorded by the process column so if you were to kind of restart your analysis it would go back to the ones that haven't been previously processed um, at the end of this process once there were all of the points have been done um, you'll then you can then produce a, an error matrix um, as well. We just have a look at our attribute table. Uh, you can see that some of these have been uh, processed, as in one's been put into that column. 